It's 4 a.m. I woke up. What if keyboards were covered in rhinestones? I have to make this happen. So I have this keyboard that I got on Amazon. It's pretty cheap. Listen to this noise. And I want to cover it in rhinestones. I just heard rhinestones fall off when I did that. We're going to be using rhinestones from uh, diamond dots. The main problem I think might happen is the clearance between keycaps won't be enough to fit two rhinestones because if each keycap is getting a layer of rhinestones, that means when they sit next to each other, those two layers of rhinestones have to be thinner than the space between two keycaps. Otherwise, when you press one down, it will get stuck on the next one or it will make other keycaps press down and then everything is a mess. And in case that might happen, I'm just gonna do a test keycap and see if this even works. Jesus. This mother glue bottle broke my scissors. You may be asking yourself why bedazzle a keyboard? Why do this? Why put yourself through this torment? But I ask you, my fellow watcher of content, why not? I'm a bit scared. Here is the, the first test. Here is this with just one side covered in rhinestones and another keycap. So if I put this in and it hits this, we're fucked. Oh no. It's fine with just one side, but if I added rhinestones to this, it would, it would not work. They're kind of barely touching, but you can tell that this one moves when I press this key. So they're touching a little bit and I don't want that. Kind of figured this would happen. My next plan is instead of bejeweling the entire keycap, I'll bejewel the top and then about halfway down the sides. And if I only cover the top half of the keycaps, they should have enough room to press. I'm gonna have to test this and if it doesn't work, I'm gonna have to like completely change the structure of a keycap to make this work, which I might, I, I don't. I have bedazzled just the sides of these and I've done this one with two rows and this one with three just to see which one kind of works better and now we have to see if they'll collide like a car crash okay so they go like this oh <gasps> they're good there's enough space so they don't and if you even if you press them together might even be able to get one more row on there the act of creation is something that should be fun and enjoyable. And that's why I will never be doing anything like this again, because it was not fun or enjoyable. The end result looks nice, but also when you hear how it sounds, you're not going to be pleased. In bed on a log, in the tub with a clog, in the snow or in the heat, in the middle of the street, in a car or the forest, the options aren't abhorrent, but at the end of the day, you sure won't be bored as you spent multiple weeks bedazzling a keyboard. Keyboard update. I finished most of the keycaps, as you can see, and I've done them in two very slightly different colors. And now I just have to do the body of the keyboard because I this has to be this has to be bedazzled. That's only going to take another 72 years. I am, however, accepting applications or ideas for other keyboards I could make. Right now, the only other idea I have is one that's bug themed and all the little keycaps are different bugs. And maybe the base of the keyboard will look like a branch. Just the border of the casing is done. And I'm going to be finding rhinestones in my carpet for the next 87 decades. Keeping with the nature theme, what about a keyboard that looks like rocks? So I've done the front panel part. And it looks, this is Barbie core. So like every key looks like a realistic rock and it looks like a big rock, but with other rocks making up the big rock. When I bedazzled all these keycaps, I forgot that they had different profiles, which means that they would need to go back where they came from. So if any keycap looks out of place or slightly taller than it should be, don't at me.
I think this keyboard is for like a really cool divorce attorney. Are there glaringly obvious issues with this keyboard? Yeah, you can see a lot of exposed plastic, but also I didn't want to, I didn't want to spend more time on it. Okay. I'm never going to use this. I am however going to put this up on my wall and like make a little display maybe for like all the keyboards I make. The texture of this, phenomenal. Anyways, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. It's probably just gonna like sit there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to me. And also like maybe leave a comment with a suggestion of something I should make down below. If you wanna support my content, make sure you head on over to my Patreon and support me there. That's how I pay for buying keyboards and keycaps that I'll never use again. Oh, f oh! <laughs> Thanks, bye.